Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another antique store haul. Everything I'm going to be sharing with you today came from Old Glory Antique Marketplace in Frederick, Maryland. So I spent a grand total of $71.55 on everything I'm going to be sharing with you today. I also have a few things that Amy B picked up for me that I'd had my eye on. And sometimes she'll send me pictures of items from different dealers that are in the mall when they bring things in that she thinks I may be interested in. So let's go ahead and check out what I got here, shall we? So I did find this in a booth that was 50% off. This is a Junior Miss figurine made in Japan. She is in pretty good condition. I may need to do a little bit of a cleanup on her, but Magic Eraser should clean up all the marks and such on her, no problem. If I had to guess a date on her, probably the 1960s, 50s or 60s, based, based, on, based on her hairstyle. This is a really nice item, and I did pay up for this, I will say. I paid about $22.50 for it. It was in a booth that was 50% off. It is a Fenton Satin Glass Custard, I believe this is Custard, um, frog figurine. It's got a nice hand-painted rose on it. It is marked hand-painted by A. Mason on the bottom. It does glow under a black light. I will share that with you all after I show you the other few items that are on my little platform here. So this also came out of a booth that was 50% off. This is Pear Point Glass, and it is marked right there, MMA Pear Point. I love the cotton, I was about to say cotton candy, like peppermint swirl that it has on it with the red and the white. Handkerchief glass is what I believe that that's called. So that is really nice. I also picked up this really cool uh, Mother's Best Needles um, one of those little fold-out cards that come with the sewing needles. I just loved the colors. The green on here is phenomenal. So I couldn't leave that behind for only a couple dollars. And then, you all know me, I've been kind of on a World's Fair kick lately, so I had to pick this postcard up of the largest sundial in the world. And this is from the... Um, oh, I don't know what year this is from, but it's older. Love, love, love that. So I just couldn't leave that behind. Look at how pretty that is lit up under the black light. Now, it does have some markings on it. I've attempted to try to take them off with a magic eraser, but I... Had no luck, so I'm just going to let the new owner take care of the proper cleaning of satin glass. This is listed in my eBay store if you are interested in it. I'm asking $59.99 with best offer. So if you happen to be interested, the link to my eBay store is down below in the description box. This was an exquisite find. I love finding the old purses from, you know, the 20s and 30s, 40s, 50s. This one in particular is absolutely fantastic. It's beaded. Look at the clasp right here. How stinking amazing is this piece? Got this 10% off of the original price. There is some paper in here to hold its shape, but as you can see, the interior is a little bit rough, but honestly though, with how old this piece is, it's not that big of a deal. And look, it even comes with a little fold-out mirror. And it's not, or it does not affect the beaded exterior. So I think that this is still, this kind of wear is perfectly acceptable for a piece this age. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal little handbag. And... I don't see a name on it, so I'm not exactly sure what to ask for it. 
so we will see. Maybe I'll save it for the next time I do an Art Deco sale with Scott. I'm not sure just yet, but it is a phenomenal piece. So these two items were something that Amy sent me a picture of, and I thought they were fantastic. New old stock towel sets. This one is Golden Crown by Dundee. It has a bath towel, a guest towel, and a face cloth. I would definitely date this to the 1960s or 1970s based on those colors. This reminds me of something that Cher would have probably had in her bathroom back in the day. This one is a little bit more simple. It's just um, blue towels with looks like some kind of wildflower on them. You get the same amount. You get one bath towel, one guest towel, and one washcloth. Actually, I'm sorry, you get two guest towels in this one. Whereas you get one with that one. But they are both fantastic new old stock linen stuff. I know that people prefer the vintage towels over the modern ones because they're just made better, they're more durable. So I may offer these up at a sale. I'm not exactly sure just yet, but they are absolutely fantastic. And the final item that I would like to share with you all from my trip to Old Glory is this really nice doll here. Uh, I've had my eye on her for quite a while. The reason that I liked her so much was because she reminded me so much of Liz Taylor in probably the late 50s. Like the hairstyle, I think this is definitely a dress that Liz would have worn at the time. She just, I mean, do you guys see Elizabeth Taylor in this? I totally do, and that's that's why I wanted it. I just thought, you know, me being a lover of, like, movie stars back in the day, and that she would fit right in with my uh, stuff that I have for that. So, folks, that is everything that I would like to share with you all from my trip to Old Glory. Let me know down below in the comments section what were your favorite items from this haul. Also, if you happen to be interested in something from this haul that I said is for sale, you can email me. My email is in the description box down below. Um, there are a few things that I will be keeping, so... Yeah. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video.